Worthy and impactful extension projects and activities went through difficulties and challenges before becoming a success. To ensure success, the university designed well-crafted policies and guidelines for extension projects and covered the planning, implementation, monitoring, and evaluation processes of the extension project or activity. Call for extension proposals Through formal correspondences and media postings on various university publication platforms, the Extension Management Office shall invite faculty and staff from all PUP units to submit extension project proposals for funding. The proposal shall include the following. Review and Evaluation The proposal submitted shall pass through a series of evaluations before funding is granted. This is the flow chart of the process flow in submitting project proposals. Since the colleges, branches, and campuses are encouraged to conduct their extension programs and projects, the university carefully designed the monitoring and implementation processes of the approved project. Here is the process flow chart of the submission and implementation of an extension program or project. For the easy and standardized procedure, the Extension Management Office laid down the following stages in the conduct of the extension programs and projects, and these are Number 1. Pre-planning, project identification Number 2. Planning Number 3. Pre-implementation Number 4. Implementation And Number 5. Monitoring and Evaluation before identifying the type of project to be offered to the beneficiaries, project proponents undergo the pre-planning stage to allow for an objective assessment of the community. The planning stage involves the formulation of a project proposal that is responsive to the needs of the community. The project proponents begin with the formulation of the project proposal once the parties have reached an agreement and have signed a Memorandum of Understanding or a Memorandum of Agreement. The faculty extensionist of the college branch together with their respective extension committee's teams starts the planning by conducting a coordination meeting to discuss and finalize the projects that will be conducted for or with the partners. The finalized project proposal is then submitted to the respective deans, directors for approval. If the dean, director approves of the project proposal, this will be endorsed to the Extension Evaluation and Monitoring Center of the Extension Management Office for Technical Evaluation. The EEMC chief notifies the extension team of the schedule of their proposal presentation to the Extension Project Proposal Evaluation Committee or EPPEC and the status of the project proposal. The proposal is returned if there are needed revisions. If the proposal is approved, the extension team receives a letter of approval from the Extension Management Office and an endorsement for the issuance of a special order from the Human Resource Management Department immediately follows. After the necessary procedures from the pre-planning to the pre-implementation stage has been secured, the extension team proceeds to the implementation of the activity. In this stage, identified faculty experts, students, and administrative staff are involved to render their service voluntarily for the successful delivery of the extension services. The extension team ensures that the implementation of the project is guided by the following elements. Number one, clear and measurable objectives. Number two, implementers and target beneficiaries. Number three, needs of the target beneficiaries. Number four, activities relevant to the stated objectives. Number five, inputs and resources, funding, staff, logistics, partners. Number six, project area and schedules, and number seven, processes and procedures. Monitoring of ongoing and completed extension projects is an important tool to ensure that the resources which have been invested in such projects have been used efficiently and effectively. The EMO, in collaboration with the concerned colleges, 
branches, campuses, coordinates with the barangay and partner beneficiaries on the monitoring process. The barangays and institutions concerned about the implementation of the project is being taken into consideration. Problems and issues are being addressed while suggestions and recommendations to further improve the processes in the implementation are considered. The EMO takes an active role in ensuring that there is a smooth communication between the project implementers and their partners. Evaluation is the process by which the effectiveness of the extension program is assessed. The evaluation focuses on the results of the level of performance of the intervention and is principally used to determine if the beneficiaries have significantly benefited from the activities. The Extension Evaluation and Monitoring Center prepares an assessment study after the implementation of the project. The result is used to help the university improve the delivery of its extension programs. No extension project can materialize without its budget. Be it substantial or minimum amount, the budget is a very important aspect to consider. The Extension Management Office handles the budget for the extension of the whole university. The colleges, branches, campuses are encouraged to submit proposals with corresponding budget requirements for the paper allocation of funds. The university allocates a generous sum of its annual budget for the extension programs. As of 2020, the total allocated budget for institutionally funded extension projects amounted to 3 million. For the year 2021, the Extension Management Office was able to secure funds for the different extension projects, which also amounted to almost 3 million. Uh, ang university ay napaka-supportive no, sa mga extension projects na ginagawa ng ating mga kolehiyo, branches, and campuses. Uh, ito ay pinaghati-hatian ng ating mga kolehiyo. Ito ay dinadaan no, sa isang uh, proposal. No? Extension project proposal. The university adheres to CHED Memo Number 20, Series of 2021, where we allotted budget from the Special Trust Fund to facilitate the university wide extension projects under our Linga Comunidad and Salin Kaalaman program. In line with CHED's funding scheme, the university categorized its extension projects based on fund sources in terms of support. Number one, University-funded extension. University provides funding extension programs initiated by colleges, branches, and campuses. Number two, externally funded university-supported extension. The EMO Extension Support Center and the Extension and Community Linkages Center are on the lookout for potential partner agencies that provide funding support for extension work. Number three, Collaborative funding. The university and outside funding agencies shall forge ties on extension projects deemed necessary for the rehabilitation, reconstruction, sustainability, and continuous improvement of a particular community where the university's expertise shall be required. The organized policies and processes designed by the university have borne successful programs and projects for the extension. The extension management of the university categorized its programs and projects into three kinds of extension work. These are Extension Service Outreach Service Linkages Partnership Service The university's conduct of the extension program can be better explained by defining the concept of community extension. Community extension is voluntary, research-based assistance in various forms rendered to partner beneficiaries by the faculty, administrative staff, and students of the university. Angat natin na mas mapalawak pa natin yung ating mga naibibigay na tulong no, sa ating mga kababayan. Our faculty members who selflessly share their knowledge, skills, and expertise are prime movers of our extension flagship program, Lingap Comunidad and Salin Kaalaman. Uh, to institutionalize the university extension programs and projects, the PUP 
ay bumuo ng isang programa na siyang sasalamin sa lahat ng extension programs ng buong university. Ito ay tinawag nating salin kaalaman tungo sa kaundaran program. Sa pamamagitan nito, nagbibigay tayo ng mga technical na pagsasanay pagdating sa uh, knowledge, skills, uh, and technology transfer sa ating mga beneficiaries uh, na mapipili upang uh, may angat ang kanilang antas ng pamumuhay. Within the context of PUP extension work, the Salim Kaalaman Tungo sa Kaunlaran or SKTK is the flagship extension program of the university and it continuously promotes the transfer of knowledge and expertise of the members of the academic and administrative personnel to its target beneficiaries. Highlighted in this program are integral criteria of an extension service, knowledge transfer and technology transfer, utilization and commercialization. Since the inception of the SKTK project, many neighboring communities benefited from the different initiatives of the university. One of the successful extension projects done by the university is the project with the Diocese of Cubao with the College of Communication and its project proponent. During the pandemic, the Diocese of Cubao Extension Project team continued to implement its project by producing docudramas for the diocese's online evangelization program called Taxikesis and ECQ or Essential Catholic Questions. Taxikesis and ECQ tell stories of hope and faith despite hardships, trials, and problems. Four dramas were produced where selected parishioners, diocese staff, and COC faculty and alumni got involved as directors, script writers, photographers, videographers, actors, and editors in a bubble production. Three of the four dramas were shown at the height of the pandemic from March 2020 to September 2021. From January to April 2021, the extension team started preparing the third phase of the capability building, which was also conducted online. The training and mentoring on video production are aimed at providing advanced training for the selected participants from Phase 1 and Phase 2. The documentary videos were used for the celebration of the 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines. The Department of Journalism Salim Kaalaman sa Pamamahayag sa Paaralan, on the other hand, has recognized the important role of school paper advisors or SBAs in training the students for national press conferences. Thus, a partnership with the Department of Education for an extension project that will train school paper advisors in news writing and other journalistic activities. The first training phase was conducted last November 2019 and held the audio-visual room of the PUP College of Communication with SBAs in Manila as participants. The second training phase was virtually conducted this January 15 to February 11, 2021. The College of Accountancy and Finance also initiated a lecture series called Accounting for Non-Accountants or AFNA. The extension project was recognized by the Philippine Institute for Certified Public Accountants or PICPA, National Government Relations Committee and invited the university to conduct a nationwide scale of the AFNA lecture series. 16 Department of Trade and Industry regions with registered small and medium-sized industry owners and bookkeepers participated in this nationwide extension project. The College of Human Kinetics believed that the best way to serve the institution and the neighboring communities is through proper health care projects. Thus, the Get on Your Feet project was conducted as the college's extension program, which caters to not only the university faculty and students, but the neighboring barangays as well. Some other extension projects done by the university are Trainers Training for Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, Urban Agriculture and Hydroponics Farming, Level Up CIW, Leading a Valuable and Empowering Life, Uplifting and Protecting Correctional Institution for Women, 
pagbasa at pagsulat tungo sa pangkabuhayan. The university has always been at the forefront of helping communities through its outreach services program. The Community Relations and Outreach Services, a unit from the Extension Management Office, has been the arm of the university in reaching out to the communities by providing basic and short-term outreach services that benefit the community inside and outside of the university. With the intent to serve the community, the following are the university-led outreach activities that have been conducted despite the challenges in this pandemic situation. The different PUP Operation Tulong Program, Linga Paaralan, Lingap Komunidad, Handog Kaloo Para Sa Komunidad Caravan, Community Gift Giving, PUP Community Pantry. Academic institutions are expected to establish networks, linkages, and partnerships with other relevant organizations to strengthen support and maximize the organization's potential. PUP has made sure that collaborations, partnerships, and networking with relevant public and private units at local, national, and international levels are properly carried out. Some of the successful partnerships made by PUP are College of Communication and Radio Veritas Asia Research Partnership, PUP and Pacific and Asian Communication Association Conference Partnership, MOUs with the following agencies, institutions, organizations. Other than the different linkages and partnerships, PUP has several institutionalized projects that serve as an avenue for networking and collaboration. These projects are ASEAN Connect, ICONEX, Gawad Lingap Awards. The university is proud of its accomplishments in the field of extension management. However, the responsibility to help people and communities must not end. Thus, as early as now, many projects, partnerships, and programs are lined up by the university for the next coming years. Maraming plano ang university no, para mapagtibay natin ang international extension engagement natin. Uh, patuloy tayo nakipag-ugnayan sa ating uh, international affairs office no, upang mailapit natin no, yung ating mga uh, extension projects no, sa mga uh, bansang nangangailangan ng ating Na, okay. Kailo, kung nagbigay ng pansin sa amin. Uh, anak ka-inspired doon yung tumulong. Mas kaya tinatagap namin. Maraming maraming salamat sa kanila. Uh, sa pagtulong sa mga especially parents at saka sa mga matang katulad. You do not know yung extent ng tulong nyo. Sometimes kasi pagkatapos dito, hindi nyo na nakikita. Eh. Pero yung pagdating sa bahay niya, na-spread yung, yung mga tinulong. So again, on behalf of public, on behalf of our uh, lahat ng mga batang member ng public at saka mga parents, maraming 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 salamat sa PUP. Para sa bayan. Gagamitin ang karunungan mula sa iyo. Para sa bayan. A line from the IMNO ng PUP, which encapsulates everything PUP has done to help uplift the lives of people in the communities. And the said line shall continue to echo in the hearts and minds of the students, the faculty, 
the employees, and the officials of the university as it stands by its commitment to be an instrument of change for a better world. PUP, pamantasang una ang pagmamalasaki.